Hey, what's up YouTube? Welcome to Six Days. I am Bob Six and today I'm going to talk about opinions. Everybody's got them. We all know that. The problem is most people think their opinion is a fact. Quick side note, I will tell you what inspired this video at the end as I discuss the topic that spurred this. Regardless of how many facts your opinion is based on, it's still not a fact. Does not make someone else's opinion wrong unless their opinion is wrong. For example, it's not okay to have sex with animals. That's my opinion. That may not be some pig fucker's opinion. He may think it's alright. It's his pig. As gross as that sounds, and I know I took it to a whoa, what are you doing, six? I know I took it that level, but I'm trying to get your attention. Because the majority of things in our daily lives are based on our opinions. For example, it's YouTube's opinion that foul language shouldn't be used on YouTube. It's their sandbox, their rules. They have control over it. So you're kind of held hostage or you can go rogue and just do whatever you want to do. As I found out early in my YouTube channel, doing whatever I wanted to do kind of stunted my growth. So they don't really get behind you. They don't absolutely say, you cannot do it. It's frowned upon. But it's their opinion, as far as language. And since it's their place, you're kind of bound to their opinion. But what other opinions do people act as though they're facts? Well, food. This sucks. This is great. Well, I may think that sucks. This is great. A prime example is liver. I know people that actually enjoy liver. I know people that enjoy chitlins. I do not enjoy either. I was forced to eat liver as a child. I'm from the South, so a lot of people eat chitlins. And based strictly off the smell, you would have to tie me down, force my mouth open, force a funnel into my mouth, and ram that shit down my throat to make me eat it. No, I would never willing to eat it, no matter how hungry I was. But that's my opinion. I know people that love them. I love collard greens, mustard greens, and turnip greens. Does it make it the best? Does it mean I'm right? That that shit's good? Well, no. It just means I like it. I mean, I don't eat syrup on my pancakes. The majority of people do. Syrup makes me sick. It's too sweet. So I eat honey and peanut butter. Love it. I love, love, love it. Do I think that's the best way to eat them? Yes, but that's my opinion. My wife doesn't like it. She's tried it. Doesn't like it. What else is there? Music? When someone asks you the name, the greatest rock band of all time, the majority of people will say the Rolling Stones or Elvis Presley. That is an opinion. Now, a lot of people say, no, that's fact. No, it's called a general consensus, also known as a popular opinion. It's not fact. If it was a fact that the Rolling Stones were the greatest band ever, they would have all number one albums. Nobody would ever outsell them. Nobody would ever have a number one hit. It would always be number two. Because in order to be the best, the absolute best, for a fact, nobody can be better than you. Ever. As funny as I think it is, a lot of people think the Dallas Cowboys are the greatest team ever. Not even close. The Miami Dolphins, who had a perfect season, the only NFL team... Unless I'm, I haven't really been paying a whole lot of attention to the NFL, so unless I've missed something, the only team to have a perfect season. Happened once. I don't know one NFL team that, through their entire existence, hasn't been beaten. Not only have they been beaten, they've been beaten by a shitty team. 
So, your team is, in your opinion, the best. Music? Come on. Justin Bieber was once the hottest singer on the planet. And I don't mean hot as in, wow, look at that guy. I mean as in, sold an ass load of albums. Does it make him the best? Well, no, it, it doesn't. And what's he doing now? Is he even still a thing? Popular opinion. Garth Brooks outsold the Beatles in a short time span, album-wise. Does that make him the greatest country singer of all time? Well, no. Is he one of the best? Yes, I would put him into that group as one of the best. Is rock music the best? Is country the best? Is rap the best? Is hip hop the best? Is opera the best? Is classical the best? Well, no. None of them can be the best. It can be the best in your opinion, or you can enjoy it more than anything else, but it's still just your opinion. Religion. All of it is based on opinion. Before you go saying, oh no, my religion's not. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's an opinion. The Bible was written 2,000 years after Jesus Christ lived. After he'd been dead and gone for 2,000 years. Tell me how good the details of your life is even 20 years ago. Do you remember some details? Yes. Do some things get jaded and faded and changed and, oh, I kind of sounded shitty there, so let me tweak this a little bit. I mean, you do realize they left books out of the Bible because it didn't really gel with the message they were trying to portray. If you're in denial, go ahead and ignore me and go, well, that's your opinion. Okay. You're also following most current Christian-based religions follow the King James Version of the Bible. The fact that it's called the King James Version should tell you something's askew in this. Well, he had the Bible rewritten so that he could divorce his wife. Huh. That sounds like a lot of people these days, they go to this church, oh wow, that really makes me look bad. Let me try this church. Mm, not quite there. This church, this, this church, this is the church I like. This one is the best. It's the best for you based on your opinions of how you should be living your life. Period. Now, I'm not shitting on religion, so please do not take it that way and think, oh, that boy. I'm just stating a fact that you think your religion is the best based on your opinion. I'm not dumping on it. If you're happy being a Christian, a Muslim, a Buddhist, whatever, Satanist, whatever you are, and that makes you happy and whole, that's fine. But it's your opinion. Okay? Uh, what else is there? The best place to live. Really? If it the, was the best, why wouldn't everybody live there? Is there no crime where you live? Well, the crime's lower than it is there. Well, yes. That don't make it better. I mean, it's probably slightly less de uh, dangerous. But cost of living could be higher. Uh, maybe not that nice of a neighborhood. Kind of run down. Maybe it's a trailer park. So where you live, based on opinion. The clothes you wear. I like this shirt. Does everybody? Well, of course not. I have never based what I wear on popular opinion. I base what I wear on what I like. And that's just my opinion. Doesn't mean I'm wrong. It doesn't mean you're wrong for wearing whatever, whatever you wear. That's your opinion. So we've covered food, music, religion, clothes, Hairstyles, type of car you drive, the type of shoes you wear, the type of dog you have, the type of cat you have, the type of pet you have, period. 
They're all opinion based. Which brings me to, well, what got him on this about opinions? I have a secret Facebook group where everybody that are members, because I carefully handpick each member, and I've only been wrong, out of 50, I've been wrong once. And I had to remove that person from the group. Based on my opinion, which was based on the evidence of what transpired. So I removed them. That person has not argued with me. I have not argued with them. I haven't brought it up. We're still friends. Do I know for a fact? No. But based on all the evidence given, this was the person. So anybody can say whatever they want or post whatever they want with the exception of now since one post was reported to Facebook. We are being watched by Facebook and they have removed a few things. So I posted the other day half ass as a joke but it is my honest opinion which was inspired by a conversation I had recently had. I think your genital reason, region should have pubic hair. I didn't say, oh, well, I'll, I'll quote it the best I can. Um, I think bald, but I actually used the body parts, probably kind of slangy versions of it. I think that's ugly. It's nasty looking. It's somewhat pedophilic for anyone to find it appealing. Grown-ups are supposed to have pubic hair. I didn't say a 1970s Afro bush. I didn't say just let that shit run wild and grow down your legs. Nothing like that. It was simply that statement. Right off the bat, I was told, while I respect your opinion, that's your opinion, I believe it should be well-groomed and something along those lines. I agree, but I didn't say anything other than and as grown-ups we're supposed to know that when somebody says something as I had said it's an opinion that's it. it that's my opinion and you have the right to your opinion and you can tell me your opinion and we're fine then somebody said something about the 1970s afro bush or something like that where the hell did that come from I didn't say that I just said we should have pubic hair some people have nice trim beards, some people don't. Some people have big bushy beards, some people don't. It's kind of the same thing. You don't walk up to somebody with a big bushy beard and go, Oh, you're wrong. That looks like shit. Shave that shit off. You wouldn't do that. But neither one of those two things are the ones that truly inspired this. The one thing that truly inspired it was someone posted, Ladies. If you, I'm wording it as nicely as I can. If you go down on a guy, would you rather have to floss afterwards or it be nice and smooth? It doesn't matter if all 48 other members said, absolutely, you are correct. Smooth is the best. That does not make me wrong. That is general consensus, a.k.a. popular opinion. Even if everybody but me on Facebook said, bald is beautiful, that's still a general consensus. That does not mean that bald is beautiful. Some people have bald heads. Some people shave their fucking eyebrows off and then draw new ones on. Big, stupid looking ones. Do I go up and tell them your eyebrows look stupid? They're too big for your face? They're a weird shape? No. If you like it, that's fine. When my wife says, well, I think I'm about getting my hair cut this way, go ahead. I don't ask you how to cut my hair because it's my hair. I have to live with it. You cut your hair however you want. My cousin's wife, a few years back, had got a haircut, considerably short, and posted on Facebook and indicated she wanted opinions. So I gave her an opinion and it pissed her off. I didn't say your hair looks like shit. The main thing I said was, 
If you're happy with it, that's all that matters. I mean, I don't tell my wife how to dress, how to do her hair, how to do her makeup. I didn't do that with my kids either. It's what you want. So when it boils right down to it, boys and girls, the majority of things that we live by, enjoy, like, love, we think's the best, are really, it boils down to, just our opinion. And there's nothing wrong with that. And there's nothing wrong with your opinion being different than mine, and your opinion being different than mine. There's nothing wrong with it. It's just that. There's nothing wrong with stating your opinion. But when you indicate that somebody else's opinion is wrong, unless they're fucking their pig, or abusing their children, or you know something like that, as long as they're not harming another human being, or an animal, it's fine. It's okay to have different opinions. So please, when someone states their opinion, don't be afraid to give yours, because I give mine. I have a friend, that he will be doing some co-hosting with me soon, um, to be my counter to go, he's going to look up facts and see, because he says I'm very opinionated, which I am. I know that. That's what this entire thing is based on. Every single video I do is my opinion. So embrace your differences. Accept the differences of your peers, your friends, your relatives. And let's be happy. Quit stressing over that. You don't have to say, well, you're wrong. Okay? I do appreciate y'all being here. If you have not hit that subscribe button, please do. Click that bell so you get a notification every time I post a new video, which is usually on Tuesdays and Thursdays, and I throw some live streams in there along the way. I hope y'all have a great day. Make someone laugh if you get the chance. Until next time, I am Bob Six.